Hey guys, we are back for another brew day. I'm brewing up the Anzac Biscuit Ale, uh, which is based on a recipe uh, from Kegland. I'll put a link below in the video description. I've made a couple of changes, but not too many. Um, the Anzac Biscuit Ale is based on the biscuit of the same name, the Anzac Biscuit, and it's got a long association with the, uh, the Australia and New Zealand Army Corps. Uh, which is where the name Anzac comes from, um, first established in World War I. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good one to brew up, especially now that we're into winter. So just quickly running over the recipe, you probably see a couple of ingredients already. Uh, so the bulk of it is Gladfield Ale Malt, then it's got Munich. Uh, the recipe did say Big O Oated Malts, I've gone for Golden Oats, which are basically a kiln version of the Big O Malts. Uh, it gives you a little bit of extra colour, like an orange hue and a little bit of extra sweetness. Uh, biscuit malt. And then obviously, you've seen this already, on it's uh, golden syrup, so that's going to give it some nice caramel sweetness. And also Anzac biscuits have uh, coconut in them, so I have toasted up, there's 100 grams of uh, uh, coconut there. Um, for a, so that's for a 10 litre batch. Now the hops in the Kegland recipe they say they use Malba. Couldn't get hold of Malba but it's got uh, stone fruit quality so I thought I'd use uh, like a New Zealand stone fruit hop so I've gone for Raquel and then they've used the BR97 so yeah that's what we'll be using. So I'll stop talking, we'll finish the mash off, and then I'll do some clips along the way. Cheers guys! Okay, so the boil's underway, and we're going to add in the golden syrup, which is in the ingredients not only in the beer, but of Anzac biscuits, so I've got to put 100 grams of this in. I will keep on doing that, I'm just weighing it to see how much I've taken out, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're 10 minutes from the end of the boil, so I am going to add in the uh, first lot of Raquel, 25 grams, and some Wurflop, so we'll put that in. Okay, so the boil has finished and I've dropped the temp down to just under 80 degrees and what we're going to do now is we're going to add in the rest of the Raquel hops for a hop stand. Add those in, come out. And also I'm going to put in the coconut now. You can put it into the fermenter but um, uh, also into the kettle as a hop stand so I'm going to do that all that in and we're going to let that sit as a yeah like a hop stand for 15 minutes just release all the oils out of the coconut and hopefully the flavor as well so we will be back okay so we have finished the 15 minute uh, hop stand slash coconut stand um, and it smells absolutely amazing the toasted coconut is uh, wafting off the top so hopefully we can get that to transfer into the finished beer anyway we will now transfer this into the fermenter okay so we are transferring into the fermenter through the hop spider and as I suspected um, the coconut is probably blocking partially blocking the tap so we will carry on anyway um, all fun and games, I knew this was going to happen, um, but yeah, we'll carry on, and the main thing is to make sure I filter out all that coconut and the hot debris etc out of the fermenter, so we will do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, so brew day is done and dusted, I'm just waiting for the work to cool down and pitch that BRY97 yeast, but in the meantime I thought I'd show you the uh, hydro sample, so hopefully you can see... Uh, color of the wort there at the top, just got some protein just settling out, but that uh, those golden oats which I've never used before 
and they're described as giving a little bit of extra sweetness on top of the big O uh, malted oats. Uh, but also they give a little bit of an orange hue to the beer and definitely picking that up there. So quite looking forward to seeing how the uh, finished uh, color, color of the beer turns out. Uh, so it came out at 104.5 and we'll just have a bit of a taste. Ah, so I can taste the um, coconut in the sample. I did have a smell before, it's just come out of the fridge. Um, just cooling the sample down and I couldn't really pick up the coconut on the aroma. It is pretty cold, it's probably about four degrees. Um, but yes, definitely getting it in the flavor and getting some, you, you know, the usual sort of malt sweetness. So that, uh, the fact I can pick up the coconuts uh, encouraging. So yeah, the brew day went well. Um, but before we finish, um, I realise there'll be quite a few of you guys that are unfamiliar with the uh, the Anzac biscuit, which this ale is based on. So when I was brewing the beer, uh, Mrs. Dino was kind enough to um, bake me up a batch of Anzac cookies or biscuits, and I thought I'd uh, be a bit of bit of a shame if I didn't show you one here. So yeah, as the as with the beer, it's got golden syrup. Um, uh, rolled oats uh, and coconut in it, so yeah, give it a bite. Really good, crunchy on the outside, but soft and chewy in the middle, um, which is what you want from an Anzac biscuit. So, if you're unfamiliar with Anzac biscuits, that's what they look like. I'll pop a link to a recipe for um, Anzac biscuits as well in the video description uh, along with the recipe for the beer from the original recipe from Keglan so you can have a look at them both if you haven't had these before I highly recommend um, giving them a whirl baking some up um, they're, they're delicious um, yeah New Zealand and Australian uh, icon Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll finish there. We'll let the beer do its thing and then in a couple of weeks we will do a tasting video. Thanks for watching. Over and out. Thanks for watching to Dino's Homebrew. If you like what you see, please comment, subscribe. Enjoy great beer.